So we get a lot of questions from our customers about uh, what scan tool they should buy or use. And so we've been uh, testing some different scan tools. And the one we had the opportunity to test most recently is produced by uh, Launch, and it's the X431 Pro Apex. Uh, one of the reasons we wanted to highlight this tool is because it has topology mapping. And if, if you're going to do a fair bit of diagnosis on modern vehicles, one of the most common problems that you're going to run into is uh, loss of communication between modules or communication codes, U codes. And having topology mapping is uh, just a, a really great tool in your arsenal for helping to speed up the diagnostic uh, process uh, with communication problems between modules. Uh, so the vehicle we're uh, working on today is actually a uh, 2021 Ford Bronco, and it actually does have some communication issues, so uh, good for this example. Uh, so we've gone ahead uh, before the video and done a full system scan, and so you can see the topology mapping. If you're not familiar with topology mapping, it's uh, basically just what the name implies. It's uh, basically just a visual map on the display of the scan tool of all the modules on the vehicle and how they are interconnected and which network they are on. So you can see in this example, uh, this uh, 21 Ford Bronco has uh, two networks. There's a high-speed network, a high-speed CAN network represented by the red lines, uh, lower speed CAN work uh, represented by the, uh, by the blue lines. Uh, this particular vehicle has 28 possible modules that could be on the network. And in this case, we have 20 modules that are communicating. The modules in green are uh, communicating on the network and have no faults, no DTCs, no codes. The modules in red have uh, faults or codes stored. And in the uh, little uh, circle in the upper right-hand corner of each uh, module there, you can see the number of codes stored. So in this particular vehicle, uh, we actually know what the fault is, uh, the restraint control module. Uh, had a failure and is uh, currently um, being repaired. So that module is being removed from the vehicle. So you can see that the uh, RCM is uh, restraints control module is currently not communicating on the network. All of the modules that are showing only one code, that particular code is for uh, lack of communication with the restraints control module and a few other modules have additional codes as well. So if you were uh, faced uh, with multiple modules not communicating, oftentimes it's helpful to see where that module is on the network. So for example, uh, if, you know, if you saw that all of the modules from a certain point on in the network were not communicating, it, it gives you a good idea then where to go to your wiring diagram and physically look for the, the break in the uh, CAN lines on the vehicle or the communication lines on the vehicle. Um, so if uh, you want to see what the codes are in a certain module, um, probably the easiest way is to jump over here to the system list and you can scroll through and see what the codes are. So for example, here in the analog brake system, we see it's uh, missing communication with the restraints control module. We can jump back over here to the system topology. Uh, so. Uh, back to topology mapping, um, it's normally a feature that's only found on pretty high-end scan tools costing thousands of dollars. Um, this uh, launch scan tool is probably the most reasonably priced tool that we've seen with effective topology mapping. So definitely one to consider uh, if, if you're looking for a scan tool that uh, will help you get into diagnosing communication issues. Happy New Year, everyone.